Hello everybody, my name's Zero Damaru, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as the Capet Dynasty. So, we are currently in a war trying to claim Nevers. Uh, a bit of a rough start to the war has placed us in a bad position, and unfortunately our uh, enemy has just called in an ally who's added a measly 400 troops to the fight. Unfortunately, that matches what we currently have. We can't raise any more levies, and we have no money for mercenaries. So, to put it quite mildly, we are a little boned at the moment. What I'm going to do is try to keep hunting down these uh, peasants, or these um, levies of, her, of theirs, and try to force a river crossing on those reinforcements, because I think that might be oops, the only way that we are going to win this one. Uh, Constantinople have progressed. Wonderful. That's great. Truly, I'm happy for them. Yeah, okay, so they're coming in there. Uh-oh. We might actually have the river crossing against us, I think, which would be bad. Yep, shit. Alright, my only hope here is that our earlier... No, we just lost. Shit. Oh, and that was a full wipe, too. Alright. Can we wipe peace? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is a problem. This is a big, big problem. Alright, what happens if I surrender in this war? Let me see. I lose 200 prestige, which sucks, but, you know, prestige isn't everything. We pay a bunch of money that I can't really afford. Um, all right, what do they have on the field? They have like 550 troops or so. However, what are we gaining per, per month? We're gaining about six per month. So that would be what? We'll say 140... 10 months, we'd be up to 200. Which would be just enough to hire a, mer a mercenary group for a couple of months, but not enough to really do anything with them. And in that time, they could probably siege out a good portion of my... Of my um, area here. I have what? 300? No, not even that. Less than 300 men I can bring in, bring into this fight from my own levies. No, I think, guys, we are well and truly beaten on this one. So I am going to go ahead and surrender. As I said, it's a massive prestige hit. A bit of a gold hit. I'm not sure what's going to happen, considering that we don't have the money to pay that. But, I'm going to send it. Come on. Accept the white- er, accept the surrender, you dick. There we go. Alright, so we are in debt. Your coffers are empty and you owe your subjects money. The morale of your armies will suffer and the longer this goes on, the more corruption and criminals will plague your- your uh, counties. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so at this point, I think we're kind of- uh, just kind of waiting, reco recovering from that, licking our wounds. We will be back, though. We will be back. We need to get ourselves out of debt currently. And I think... To do that, we're just going to go ahead and bump it on a higher speed here and let things tick off a little bit. Remember about a spy sneak around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. I'm not concerned. I gained pi piety. I can kill him and gain some martial, and I will kill him with my bare hands. And I can gain monthly prestige. Um, I might as well gain the piety, I guess. I mean, I'm infirm right now, so I'm not really going to be doing a lot of fighting. Uh, the Frat Selly heresy has appeared in the province of Barcelona. Where is that? 
Pause. Uh, message log. Is there not a finder down here, or am I maybe thinking of... Uh, yeah, find title or, re or region. Uh, the county of Barcelona. Oh, it's all the way down there. I care not. I care not. I care not. Not, 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 not. All right. Eh, dismiss that. Oh, Armored Truth's pregnant again. Uh, that's fine. De jure claims. That's fine. I'm not going to create that Duchy of Berry because I don't want my kingdom to shatter into a million pieces when I die, which will happen very, very soon. Yeah, so at this point, we're just kind of hoping things tick by uneventfully. <laughs> Every time my son Charles meets a stranger, he looks like he might faint. Vlad is just a bit shy. So this is my spare. Yeah. Well, let's uh, try to get him gregarious. Nope. All right. Did he lose the shy at least? He did. So that's something, I, I guess. Uh, okay, so we have a new Pope. Again, not really something I'm too, too worried about. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Sheriffs have allowed a large band of robbers to rise in Burges. They are too craven to attack my castles, though. Okay, we have another son. That's not good, actually. We have too many of this. Uh, Blois. Yeah, we ha we're having problems with robbers and such. Which means we're losing, uh... Losing money, but that's okay for now. Uh, lots and lots of stuff I do not care about. Lots of imprisonments. I guess that war is going well. Uh, can I just, like, clear the log? We had a jolly time. Uh, we had a jolly great time dressed up as wild men, dancing, chained together, and appearing shaggy. What? Shaggy and hairy from head to foot. Too bad the fun was interrupted when the careless person set us on fire. What? Why were you doing... Why? What? Okay, so I can be maimed. Which lowers my health even further. Or I can be wounded. With only 60% only chance of being wounded. Uh... And that'll... Improve a courtier, or my that'll improve my opinion of a courtier. Or I can do seventy percent chance of wounded. I think I'm gonna go go with a sixty percent, honestly. Ah, ball sacks. All right, so now I am both infirm and wounded. So my character is gonna die like tomorrow. How old my son? 14, so he's almost of age. So even if I were to die this year, that's only two years of a Regency Council. Or of a Regent, I guess I should say. Holy freaking messages, Batman. Close, 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 close. I said no. Go away. Okay, so it looks like I, in fact, did die. What? Oh, okay, that's... Wait, what? No. Oh, wait, that's my new heir. Okay, sorry. That's my, uh, I guess my brother now. So my regent is my chancellor. He likes me, though, so that's okay. That's okay. I did, in fact, lose the county of Blois and the county of Burges, which is not good. All right. Duke Edrews has passed over to Christ at the age of 61. He died bedridden and infirm. So be it. So I am going to be in a Regency for a little while. Looks like I have reset my monthly balance, though. Money is still coming in, which is good. More Raiders. So unfortunately, my demands now has gotten very, very tiny. I own one county. The county of Bourbon is the only one I, I actually own at this point. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt, because I'd like I like to own the entirety of my home duchy, but uh Sue and Frito of Fract of Fracatelli Uprising has declared West Francian Fracatelli. Oh, Jesus. Why is these so hard to say? 
Fraticelli revolt on King Louis the Stammerer. All right, so it looks like we have a revolt going on someplace. I don't see it, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and drop the speed back down just so I can get ahead of all these messages, for one thing. All right, we have an open council position for a chaplain. Wow, we have no chaplains in our realm. That's awesome. Technological advances, though, in which we can do both cultural and economic. I think there was something I was waiting for to do in my county capital. I wanted to upgrade the castle town, because that would give me more tax income. For that, I need castle walls three, or two, sorry. And to get that, I need improved keeps, so that's the technology we're going to grab. Go ahead and grab that. Now, as far as this goes, we're going to go ahead and... I think go noble customs. Um, yeah, that gives me a plus six opinion bonus there. Though I can up that and maybe pick up... Eh, you know what? I'll take the opinion bonus since this is already pretty much researched on its own. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our laws real quick here. So we do have feudal taxation set to small. Our income is just tiny, 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 though. So I honestly think we need to start murdering our brothers. Let's see. Unfortunately, I can't plot to kill while I'm a child, I guess. Let me see. What happens if I revoke his title? Uh, cost me 50 prestige. The Count Charles' opinion of me by 80, and your other vassals by 20. Who are my other vassals? My two brothers. Yeah, I can't really afford that right now. Nobody can appoint to a council position yet, so let's go ahead and invite a holy man to... to court. Uh, I can't. Why? Oh, I need at least five piety. Okay, so it looks like I have grown. I am a brilliant strategist, apparently. So let's take a look at how we turned out. So we have a marshal of 15, a diplomacy of 9, 4 stewardship, 6 intrigue, and 4 learning. I am a direct leader, so leading from the center gives me a plus 20% combat bonus. So this guy is going to be really good in war, which is great. I am brave. I am honest. I am kind. I am just. I am cynical. And I am a brilliant, strateg uh, brilliant strategist. Alright, well the first thing we need to do is get me a wife. So let's go ahead and get married as our um, thing. What's it? Ambition. So I am looking for... Quick is not bad. Why are they all freaking children? Seriously. Anyways, let's go back up to the top here. She's only, she's 14 though, so I mean, it's not horrible. A genius, that wouldn't be ba bad to bring in. She's eight, so we'd be waiting a few years before she came of age. I'd really like to bring that genius trait in though. She's a courtier in Zamora. Where is that? All the way over here. Her liege is a count, so I mean, we wouldn't be getting a lot there. Hmm. Yeah, as I said, I'd really like to bring in some good genetic traits. Try, try to get those into the bloodline. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just do a general search for genius. Yeah, there's only one genius, and it's this eight-year-old girl. But you know what? I think that'll be worth it. I don't really need an ally, like a marriage ally at this point. Well, then again, actually, maybe I do. Let's take a look at, at uh, you know, what we can maybe marry in. Let me see. You've got a seven-year-old daughter who is slow. Well, that's definitely not a genetic trait we want. Uh, what about you guys down here? 
You are the Duchy of Toulouse, but you're just a child. So no help there. The Duke. You have a 13-year-old daughter. Nothing super amazing about her, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe get an ally in one of the larger land forces around here. And then that way we can, uh, you know, hopefully call them in when we go to war next time. What do you have as far as men goes? You could bring 2,000 men to my cause. And I do plan to be rather warlike with this character just because of how good he is at it. All right, I'm going to try to arrange a betrothal. All right, so I am going to gain a little bit of prestige from this. Not a lot, but that's fine. All right. Yeah, and that'll that'll actually be a very strong alliance for us. So I think that's actually probably the best move we could make there. They're a little bit far away, so I mean, if, when, if we go to war with, like, say, these guys again, it's a bit of a problem, but ultimately, it's something we can deal with. More raiders, more raiders. Raiders. Alright, so they accepted the betrothal. Close down all these messages. Actually, I think between this episode and next, I'm going to see what I can do about pruning out a few of those messages that I get, because I don't really read them anyway. Um, alright. What's my next thing I guess I need to, to worry about? Really, what I need to do is, um... Maybe start plotting to kill my brothers here. I think that's kind of what we need to do. Alright, so let's do that. First of all, though, let's make sure that we have... ...the best council we can get. That's our Chancellor, and he's about the best that we're going to see. Our Marshal, again, about the best that we're going to do. Our Steward is actually decent. Um... Yeah, well, we do have a little bit of a better spy master. But he's a lunatic, so yeah, let's not do that, actually. Alright, yeah, I think that's about the best we're gonna do. I think our levies have recovered, have they not? Uh, not yet. Yeah, our levies right now are super freaking small, too, which is a bit of a bit annoying. Alright, so first we're gonna try to kill you, because I'm your heir. Intrigue. What can we do for backers? Mmm... Not a lot, unfortunately. Um... Where are you at? You're at Bruges, right? Yes, so what I want to do is actually send my Chancellor over there to sow dissent. No, I can't sow dissent in, in Bruges? Okay. Let's go ahead and improve diplomatic relationships with... Eh. You know what? Let's maybe fabricate a claim on Bruges? That might work. We'll see. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that'll work. I've never actually had to do this before. But yes, we definitely want you dead. Unfortunately, we don't really seem to be able to get the job done because we can't really get a lot of a lot in the way of powerful backers. I wish I could get you on board because that would just that would do it right then and there. Hmm. Well, you want to get married? Maybe I can. Do that for you. Mm. Oops. Pause, please. So I could marry him to my sister. That would be minus 300 prestige. Yeah, so that would, that would tank my prestige a little bit there, but how much prestige do I even have to work with at the moment? With no guarantee that that would even do anything. You know what I can do, though? Uh, present debutante, so let's do that. 
So now, if I go back to that screen, open my brother, or not my brother, sorry, into intrigue. Into here. Uh, range marriage. Oh, I guess I did a, a range betrothal. Whoops. Who is kind of useless? You. Uh. All right. So I guess it would have to be my mother. What? Well, one males must marry noble women, Matrilin, no way. And he wouldn't do it because he's our... our oh, okay, I see what the problem is. That's, the, that's his spy master, and to do that would actually bring him, you know, away from my court. You're a noble woman? What are you? You're just a courtier. All right, well, so that's not going to work. I was hoping it would, but, uh, no, I don't close it. Thank you. I was hoping I could fulfill that for him and in so doing gain his trust a bit, but seems that is not to be. Eh, now, okay, we'll just have to see if we can't maybe make that plot happen in time. We do have an open council seat. Can I invite a... Do I have enough piety yet? Uh, nope. We do have some minor titles that need to be granted. A commander. Oh, God. We have, like, nobody to frickin' choose from. Yeah, sure. Everybody can be a commander. Why not? Bah. All right. So that is that. I'm not liking where this has put us, unfortunately. The Our dude dying when he did, quite unexpectedly so. I mean, like, he was getting older, so I was expecting him to die soon. I just wasn't expecting him to keel over right that very second. You know, like, that was that was a bit weird. All right, well, not so much weird. The game can happen like that. Annoying, more like. So what I need to do is kill my brothers before they come of age. Or at the very least, before they have children of their own. I got a few years to get the to get it done. I mean, he's what four years away from, uh, you know, coming of age, and he's six. So I mean, I've got some I got some time to get it done. Actually, can we maybe kill you a little bit easier? Let's find out if we can do that first. Ah, uh, yeah, we can we can kill you a little easier. Let's uh, let's bribe you. Bring you on. Uh, let's sort by plot power here. Uh, I don't have any money. Yeah, we're kind of broke at the moment. Ah, I hate, I really do not like, like this may have been an old update, but this is the first time I've seen it. Like this is the first game I've seen it in. I don't like this new um, window system, like this new diplomat diplomacy window. I'd much rather have the old one back. Might even see if there's a mod that could do that for me. Alright, who else can we invite? We can bring you on. And then once we get some gold, we can probably bring you on as well. Alright, so guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you are enjoying it so far, and with any kind of luck, in the coming episode or two, we'll be able to pull our kingdom back together and continue our conquest of West Francia. So long.